What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Now a couple of weeks ago in the Fits of the Week I featured a few outfits from the recent Drake's lookbook which was their kind of autumnal full transitional lookbook which features a load of great outfit inspiration. So I thought I'd do a video today where we just run through the whole thing because the only time I really looked at it was when I received the email from them and I haven't really had a chance to really go through each individual image so i thought i'd save that for today's video um let's get into it but actually before i continue just like to ask if you get anything from the video at all if you can hit the like and subscribe button check out archwomers.com for pre and menswear and sign up to the Substack, the guidance as well which is just a newsletter i send out with links to any items we discuss in these videos any pre-owned items i find during the week i compile them into a post normally once a week and just general ramblings as well also a quick fit check for myself i've got a drake's shirt on i've got a belt from uniqlo and some trousers from october Hobo editions, which I've really been impressed with. They've got a really nice high rise to them. Um, they've got a nice rip to the leg as well. So uh, if you're in the market for some like a crew or light kind of jeans, uh, definitely check out October editions. But enough about that. Let's get into this lookbook. Right. So here we are. The landing page for drakes.com. And uh, here we have it straight front and center. The autumnal transitional lookbook. Let's uh, we read more. I think that's the way to get to it. Right. Let's see here. So introducing our latest lookbook, a celebration of slow changing of the seasons. Summer into not quite summer and eventually autumn. It is definitely, for me, it's the best time in terms of like wearing clothes. Like you can just wear a suit out. You can wear a light jacket. It's definitely my favorite time of the year in terms of menswear. So yeah, I won't, I won't read the whole of this. Um, highlights include signature relaxed games tailoring in robust cotton and corduroy and earthy tones love it love corduroy love earthy tones right up my strasser um right along with the double-breasted mark three blazer in smart wool as well as a full palette of scottish wool cardigans and fair isle sleeveless knits a new cozy quilted vest is released in an indigo wash denim that will wear and patinate particularly nice with age and use while trousers in workwear inspired brush cotton olive I love that. Uh, given a relaxed, comfortable feel with addition of a handy drawstring. Not, I've never been a drawstring guy myself. Um, right, first image. Uh, the scarves. The scarves are such a big thing. Uh, they always do some amazing patterns. They are rather pricey. I've tried to buy some vintage ones. I have a few, but they're never as long as these ones. So it's hard to get that sort of length that they have along with the patterns so um i've been holding off on buying a drake's one but i might have to pull the trigger soon um just to get portions as well as the the lovely colors in there then we've got herringbone uh black and white a games blazer i think that is and i can't see what he's wearing maybe some denim yeah and then some loafers on in this other picture so I love, uh, I love the herringbone. The games blazers never really suited me. I've tried them a couple of times. Uh, I really like them on other people. But for me, who's not particularly tall, I've got quite broad shoulders. I kind of feel a little bit squat in them. And I also, because they're for more sort of like relaxed sort of feel and aesthetic, um, I personally feel a little bit scruffy in them. So um, yeah, it's just, just they, they've just never worked for me personally, but I do, do um, really like them. Um, next up, we have a, I think it's a navy blazer purple cardigan i think this is the sleeveless cardigan uh striped shirt oxford shirt some dark denim and then some i can't see what boots they are but they're, they're the crosby boots potentially right i'm not one for big bold colors uh but in the scarves and i think it's something like this with the the cardigan uh i think they're the ways to do it i quite like that purple in there as well it's it's, it's nice um uh, and then we have the the raglan sleeve coats i uh, I've got a couple now. I bought a vintage one last year. I bought um, one from this small Italian brand on Vestiaire for like 20 quid last year. I still need to get them to the tailors to take the sleeves up. Um, just because of the pricing. I just, ha I just haven't been able to have the budget yet to get a, a, a Drake's one. But it's between Drake's and Bergenberg would be my two that I, I've been sort of umming and ahhing over. I, actually, I just missed out on one on eBay from Bergenberg last year for like two or 300 quid. I'm still thinking about that. It hurts. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. This one, it's uh, it's hard to tell exactly what color um, that is. Like it's grey, but it's got a little bit of green in it as well. Um, but yeah, that's so so cool. Next here we have a kind of like a chore jacket, a t-shirt. Oh, we've got a scarf on with some blues, some oranges, um, t-shirt, green and white stri stripes, 
purple knit uh, sweater around the waist, braided belt, dark denim as well. So there's a lot going on there, but it looks really understated. Um, I, I, this purple use I, I quite like. It's not normally a colour I'm particularly fond of, but I, I do like it. Uh, ah, and here we have a check blazer with some beautiful size lapels. It looks like they maybe increased the size of those lapels. Um, nice soft shoulders. Uh, we've got the stripe with the shirt, stripe with the tie, pink, um, I think it's the Shetland wool jumper, some accrued trousers, and then some leather shoes or boots. <sighs> love this. Uh, I love that jacket. Uh, as I say, the, the lapels look a little bit bigger, which I really like. Um, yeah, if I had to have a choice and to buy where I'm going to buy a pattern blazer, I think I'm leaning towards Greg's now. Um, also, lots going on in terms of the patterns. You've got that smaller... Uh, pattern with the blazer the sort of larger stripes of the shirt and then the also large stripes with the tie and it works effortlessly they've, they've styled that really nicely um yeah really cool and again that pop of that i hate saying pop of color and again that flash of color with the pink uh which again doesn't look over the top they've kind of scaled back like even with this outfit they kind of kind of scale back the um styling with these some of these photos because you know they a lot of their previous lookbooks they're cramming in a lot of uh, outfits they're doing the layering and they're doing it great it looks great so it's not a um a critic i would start a critique of them but uh i like that they're maybe scaling about that a little bit there's still tons in it he's got a scarf in the pocket he's got the jump around his waist he's got shirt tie jacket so there's still a lot there but it's not as much as maybe as previously and i like it it looks uh, it just um looks more wearable to me Here's this chinks as well. I like the photography as well. Very simple, nice soft lighting. I think maybe just one light maybe they're using here. Maybe a, a, and then a back, one on the backdrop. Grey black backdrop. Um, just simple, but it shows off. The models looks good as well. Uh, looks like he actually naturally wears the clothes. He looks like a normal guy. Um, I actually do have his name. Um, sick. So his name's Tanaka Saburi, and I think he's done a really great job here. Showing the perfect sort of balance of not overposing, looking quite natural natural smile like I, I like it a lot so here we have a a crew trouser and jacket combination i don't really like the two going together it looks too matchy for me too much like a uh just a suit which isn't a suit uh so just for my personal i uh, start uh, i'm not, I've never, just never really been a big fan of that even if it was navy i, I don't like the, the the two together um but individually as a pieces love them i'd love i really want one of the crew chore jackets and uh, I'm a sucker for any accrued trousers as well. Uh, then we've got the scarf around the neck. We've got that sweater, which they've had for quite a while, either in oranges and reds or this color, this color way here. Um, nice. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I, I like um, the accrued stuff really sticks out to me. Something I really want. Um, again, another check jacket. And was it? This, is it the same pattern? No, slightly different, different colors. In this one, more blues and uh blues greens just a little bit of cooler in terms of the pattern the jeans as well and then a sweater like simple as i said before the styling has definitely been scaled back a little bit and I, I really like it um it just shows off that that jacket a lot more nice shot there a bit of movement and then this olive suit which i, I absolutely love i think this might be it might be a game suit it looks quite uh a bit looser but uh yeah i love that color i like the way it's styled here with the the striped shirt the wider striped shirt and then the pattern with the, with the tie the tie being darker so it doesn't distract from the rest of the outfit the lighter colors of the shirt and then the mid-tone of the, the suit uh yeah the colors uh, i absolutely love that suit then we have another one of the sports coats here with a kind of rugby shirt they do green trousers navy socks black leather penny loafers uh, again so much going on there but it looks really effortless i think the color palette that nothing's too bold and bright even though you've got quite quite strong colors in there and um, nothing's really going too over the top even with the pocket square as well it's not overbearing which is quite nice which just shows like how you can and with what drake is all about it's kind of like ralph as well where it's like you can buy your whole wardrobe here if you wanted to everything's going to go with each other because of the colors because of the way they fit and uh they yeah everything pretty much goes together quite harmoniously um again it's the rugby shirt 
and the um, sort of like cargo pants. And so, yeah, I mean, I, I like it. It's not something I personally would wear, like the rugby shirt with the colours. It's not something um, I, I tend to steer away from any sort of anything too bold in t- terms of those sort of colours and stuff. But I, I do like it. This is a bit more me. This look here, uh, the navy shirt with the chest pockets, the high waist of the denim belt, and then the, the ultimate of the raglan sleeve coats. Like actually, this is the one I'd go for. I think. I did be that or herringbone, black or herringbone on, I'm not sure. But this, yeah, but I, I love this. It's got like a vest on as well. And uh, yeah, just a, a simple but really cool outfit. I mean, even, you know, the, the coat is the centerpiece, but you're taking it off and it's, um, you've got the, the, the uh, proportions with the high waist with the jeans and then the, the shirt, the contrast of the buttons. I like the vest as a, a little addition there as well. Here's those colours. So which one would I go for here? Yeah. It's, ooh, it's hard. It's hard. To, uh, mm, I don't know which one I go for. Maybe this one or that one. I think either that one or that one I'd go for. Is a little gilet on top. That's, that's quite nice. I like they're quite again darker colours. So it's, it's probably not something I would really wear. Uh, but if yeah, I like I like they've done it in like nothing too crazy colour wise. Here are the knits again. Really nice colours. It's a nice photo. This is something I absolutely would wear. A corduroy uh, shirt, green shirt, and then a navy suit, black leather loafers. Call it boring, but it's all about the little details. The corduroy, we're giving it a bit of texture and also a bit of like visual in, um, interest with the colour, the way the light plays off of it. Uh, classic suit as well. Uh, yeah, really nice. And then this, I, I, I'm a sucker for a corduroy and these sort of, this sort of colour, this sort of greeny brown colour, uh, colour moss green kind of. It's hard to tell because of the, the lighting and obviously there's a little bit of colour um, correction going on or um, editing. But uh, yeah, I like this. I like this jump up. I would wear this jumper in this cut in this colourway, the green and the cream. Uh, he's got like a, a light blue shirt on underneath that and then a braided belt. This is great. This is like Sunday pub attire. I love it. Uh, the, the suit being that little bit looser, it, ha- it drapes off you well. It looks great, patinaed. This white corduroy is so it's just such a such a great suit. It's so underrated for younger guys as well. Like you don't get too many younger guys wearing corduroy and uh, corduroy suits. And it's just one of the. I mean, yeah, it has a bit of stigma. Like especially when I was a kid. Like yeah, your art teacher or your history teacher wears corduroy. But uh, it's just it's corduroy is cool. All right, corduroy is cool. Um, hit the jumpers. I would go. I would wear. I like. I like them. I think this. The light blue and yellow is the one I probably wouldn't wear. The rest, I think I would. Probably. Yeah, I think I would. I would wear all of them. Yeah, I, I really like those colours. Here we have the sort of darker tone jacket with a uh, like a sweatshirt. Scarf again, lighter blue jeans. Just showing, go a bit darker with the um, the pattern of the jacket. A bit lighter with the jeans. Looks great, and also uh, a bit more of a sporty jumper as well. Uh, and it's great. Like, just shows you can be, you know, wearing sport coats more casually. I, I'm, I'm a big, big uh, fan of. And then a little bit more, a little bit more formal. Still a bit peppy. A little bit of wide leg with the trousers. You've got the lemon of the shirt, and then this uh, pattern tie. Really cool. I like the, the pairing with the trousers as well. It's not something I, I would particularly uh, have done myself, but I think that, that looks great. Here's a nice shot. This I, I, I'd definitely wear. Um, look at the rise. Like, the rise of those jeans, brilliant. The um, you've got a bit of a canvas belt on. The check shirt. And then a jacket. I think it's a pinstripe jacket with brass buttons from here. Uh, but yeah, really like that. They've got more of a uh, trench coat. This is that. Uh, looks like a navy. The the caps are cool as well. I would definitely wear those caps. Just a simple D. It's kind of a little bit abstract as well. Uh, you've got a green. Can't see what it might be called, but it might just be a different sort of material on the um, visor. Coat's very cool. Uh, yeah, look at that. It's just a nice silhouette as a whole. Swear around, swear around the neck, man. Everyone's, every, a lot of people are doing this again. 
it's a bit more of a preppy style. This is not something I particularly went to this full te- geography teacher um, vibes here. So not something for me personally, but I like I like it. I like the again I like like the blazer. Um and the, the look as a whole is is really nice, but yeah, not something I, I would particularly go for. Yeah, I mean that it's it's a really nice pattern and colour. Here we have just another shot of that. The sort of rugby shirt with a deep V pattern. Another I think we haven't seen that pattern of the the blaze, so that's really nice. And there's some like mustard socks, like the, the addition of the mustard socks. Here it's gone brown and brown again, again, like just I just feel like it's a little bit too samey for me. Um but individually, love it. Love that uh, chore jacket in the brown. I really like that rugby shirt actually as well. Something without the, the strong patterns is a bit more me. Yeah, even a, a, a contrast collar I, I totally wear. I really like that actually. That looks great as a as a as a fit. I just change it out. Maybe some jeans on or something. Some dark jeans. Ah, so this is the other Radcliffe Heap coat that I'd be tempted with. I, I really don't know which way I'd go. Like, I might have to leave it to the pre-owned gods to see what comes up. Uh, but yeah, love that. I don't really like that jumper as well. Actually, the more I see it, the more I like it. Here, oh, bit of a, yeah, I've never been a big fan of them. I always, I think, maybe it just reminds me too much of the vintage. Like, maybe to, I think that like Top Man used to make some stuff like that, and it, it just put me off with like fake leather. Obviously, that's a much better and nicer jacket. It's just PTSD from those days. Cardi. It's the last card again. Probably not. Yeah, again, not my particular style. A little bit more on the on the preppy side. I really like this. It was corduroy jaw jacket thing. Little back pocket going on. Crew trousers. Purple socks. Got a nice little touch. Yeah, I love that. I've actually got just got one similar to that from Surplus recently. Wax jacket. That's cool. It's a nice sort of shape, different to, to Barber's. Uh, Where's maybe a little bit more volume down the bottom. Obviously, he's zipped it and he's pulling it aside, but it's quite nice. Raglan sleeve as well. Yeah, I like that. The the double zip. Here's the 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 the, uh, the suede jackets. I mean, I need I need to get one. I like the the addition of the scarf. Oh, I love that scarf. This is. Well, yeah, like, like for like, hundred percent. Want I want that outfit? The cruise yeah, has the way the the lighter color plate is plays with that the sort of fox color of the suede. Oh, I need one. I need one in my life. And this is really nice as well. Sort of um, green rugby shirt or polo, choc- dark choc- chocolatey brown suede, and then these uh, sort of like um, chino trousers as well. Love that. Like that these these are my those two may be my favourite ones. As well as the Ragnar one we saw earlier with the the Navy and the Navy. Um they're my favourite looks and I will be stealing. I like the shirt, the sort of lemony shirt. And yeah, that the pairing with that sort of oatmeal colour is quite nice. This is uh, this is nice. That deep I'm a like anything that that indigo, deep rich blues I'm a huge fan of. Um yeah, love that. The layering here is done, done so nicely. Even like the size of the buttons going up, it just it, it just looks very pleasing. Um, yeah. And that's also um, texture-wise as well. Like you've got this texture of the uh, of the jacket, then the shirts had a little bit of texture, a little bit looser. Then the trousers are very flat and clean. So I think that works well also. So not everything's look it, it, like it's. Um, it's quite balanced in that way. A charcoal, what's that? Like a flannel suit? Something again, I'm really looking for. That's really nice. I like that, that color, color with the gray, but some charcoal which looks really nice. That's, yeah, that's a, that's a lovely bit of layering. You've got like four layers on there. Um, 
just subtly color wise the, the colors just really blend well together it's very subtle this is a great look um you know we've been wearing a lot of vests over the summer this is a nice way to incorporate that into the more colder months um adding a bit, a bit of layering um yeah again subtle colors a little bit monochrome everything's sort of gray just different uh different tones um ah oh, there's so many good fits i think that's definitely one of my favorites um this with the this one here 100 percent. this one absolutely stealing this one i just need the suede and this one it's just all about the suede and then i think where are we going quite far up that's that's really nice as well I want to do something with that. The greens and the blues. Just very, really subtle, dark tones. And, uh... Oh, maybe I passed it. And this one here. This one. They're my favourites. And then also, I really want one of their check blazers as well. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff I like. A lot of stuff I want. Anyway, guys, let me know which outfit from here is your favourite. Do remember to check out archonwoods.com and sign up to the Substack. The guidance, everything will be in the description. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.